Hi folks, this is my favorite time of year. This is when the new models come out. And every year, you know, you, you get the 17s in and you think, man, they're so much better than the 16s. What the, look at all the stuff they brought. And then they could never do any better than this for 18. Well, guess what? The 2018s are here uh, from Newmar and they're even better. So I'm gonna, it's my pleasure to take you around and show you uh, the new features involved here. I think you're gonna like them. We've got my favorite coach, the uh, uh, 4369 floor plan. Uh, this one's on a Ventana. Uh, so I really love showing these anyway. Um, I think you're gonna like a lot of the new features. Don't forget the number one rule of the videos. Don't forget to ask for me when you call, email, or uh, stop by Mount Comfort RV. So uh, without further ado, let's take a look. We'll go around this side first. Front end really didn't change much. Now, of course, this is all reflective and mirrored when, once we get it all uh, ready to go for you. Um, right now, those are protective, so we're gonna leave those on there so that uh, they, don't, they don't get anything on them. We do have the clear coat diamond shield. It's very difficult to see. I don't know if you can even see that line that's there. It's one of the few places you can tell it has it. But this entire front end has a mask across it. That protects for bugs and rock chips and, and that type of thing. Beautiful masterpiece finish. Uh, the coach has a little bit of dust on it. It did just arrive, but my wash bay is so busy right now. We're in the middle of summer. I didn't have time to get them to wash it, so forgive the dust. But uh, take a look. These are the muslin graphics package on the outside. This is also muslin decor on the inside. So we have a 2018 Ventana 4369 with muslin interior and exterior. We did change some things, especially on the interior. So this is not just a, a, a cookie cutter one. We changed some colors around that I think that I think you'll like with the leathers and stuff. So uh, as we go through, let's let's take a look at some compartments. Okay. In here, now this is uh, more of a serviceability compartment here. Um, these are your, get my shadow out of the way, these are the Freightliner fuse systems in here. So these are chassis fuses and that type of thing. Here's our first new feature. Um, this year, they added this little panel right here and its sole purpose is to give you extra fuses. Sometimes, you know, you if you blow a fuse, you might ha not have a 7.5 amp fuse uh, hanging around your coach. Now you do. So, nice little spare fuse holder there. That's a new feature for 2018. Okay, a little better job there. Aluminum wheels, um, obviously standard on the Ventana. Fuel fill from either side. Um, I love this new feature uh, right up here. Look at that. Newmar's been doing this for 50 years. They invented things like, you know, the slide out. We have a pull out battery tray. There's, this is an all electric coach. So this is an eight battery system. Uh, those do pull out for serviceability. Those are eight six volt batteries. Uh, any questions on pull out batteries and six volt versus 12 volt, that type of thing, please do not hesitate to give me a call. We did option in a, tr a tray in this compartment. Now this is the one that is, is actually goes out both sides. We're on the driver's side of the coach right now, but this also goes out the door side of the coach. Moving on, shut some compartment doors here. This is a big pass-through spot. Now, all of these have LED lights in them. They come on when you open the doors. Um, it, that's difficult to see. We're, we're early in the morning here at Mount Comfort RV, and it's very, very sunshiny, beautiful day, but that does cast some shadows, so I apologize. This is the Oasis system. The Oasis system is your hydronic heating system. This coach does not have a traditional water heater and furnace system. It actually has a much better system than that. Uh, this is a closed loop system that circulates what we call a boiler antifreeze throughout the coach in order to heat the coach and in also, also in order to heat the um, tanks and your, your water line areas um, in cold weather conditions. But that system also gives you unlimited hot water. So it's always nice to be able to, uh, uh, if you're hooked up to uh, gray water and city water, um, you can take a 45 minute shower in an RV if you want to and have nice hot water through the whole thing. That's, uh, that's not the norm for RVing. We have a 50 amp, 50 foot shore power cord. So nice part about this one is it's on an auto rewind wheel. Uh, reel. You just pull it out, uh, walk, walk with it and pull it out to, uh, to extend it. And then when you're done, even if it's cold weather and you don't feel like uh, wrestling a, a cord, you just hit a button and it will retract that right back in. So that's always nice. Over here, this is our wet bay. In our wet bay, we have everything we need for winterization, 
for dumping our tanks, for hooking up water, a whole house water filtration system. We have hot and cold water access out here. And hot and cold water access is nice if you need to rinse out that sewer hose, or even if uh, you got a little dog and he needs a bath, well, you can do it out here instead of in there. That's nice. This is a hose reel, just like our uh, shore power cord reel. That is on an auto retract, so just hit a button and it pulls it back in. This is a heated compartment. Whenever your hydronic heating is on, this area is getting heat into here as well, so you don't have to worry about tanks freezing. With Newmar, we always talk about the thickness of the baggage doors. Um, that's, that's not surpassed by anybody in our industry, and the thickness of these floors right here. You know, people use floors that are this thick and, and talk about their well-insulated coaches. Yeah, well-insulated, this thick plastic. <laughs> Um, these floors, they're this thick and they're full of insulation. It's going to make a difference when you get into cold weather temperatures, but it also makes a difference when you're going down the road knowing that you've got the thickest floors, thickest walls, thickest basement floor, and thickest roof in our industry. That makes this coach quieter. That makes this coach easier to heat and cool than anybody else's coach out there. Don't believe me? Come take it for a drive. Come see for yourself how quiet it is. We sit right on the interstate and on the inside of these coaches you don't hear the interstate. So. That's, that's nice in the campground. I didn't bring my key with me, uh, rookie mistake. Uh, this is actually a little compartment just where we store our, our sewer hose. So it has its own uh, compartment, so it's not mingling with anything else, and that's always a good thing. Come back here, we have a DEF tank, diesel exhaust fluid. These have to do with the after treatment of the engine. Any engine since 2010 have these, any diesel engines rather. Um, and um, that's where you fill that uh, uh, tank at. It doesn't use much diesel exhaust fluid. People make much ado about uh, nothing when it comes to this diesel exhaust fluid in an RV application. Uh, it actually uses about a gallon of diesel exhaust fluid per 50 gallons of fuel. So most people end up filling that tank maybe twice a year. It's just not a big expense or concern for you. Um, any questions on the after treatments on the diesel exhaust fluid, please give me a call. We'll talk about that at length. Most diesel coaches don't make this a storage compartment because we're back here next to the engine, so you open these doors and they're open to the engine. Well, being open to the engine uh, doesn't really do us much good. Um, this is, you know, we're, we're maybe a foot deep here, 10 inches, something like that, um, and uh, it would be wasted space uh, to not have this. And with RVers that buy an RV of, of, of this ilk, um, they're going to want every, every square inch of storage they can get, so that's what Newmar is going to give you. Um, while we're over here, we have something interesting here. What the heck is this? Newmark came out with this last year, uh, an actual, what we call an egress door. Um, most RVs, they have a window about the size of that one right there, and if in the event of an emergency, you couldn't get out the front door, well, you can climb head first out the window, and I'm five foot 10, so you got about a six, seven foot drop head first. That's not good. Um, Newmark came out with this and it was a much better design because at least it's a door that doesn't open from the outside and at least hey you can jump out and yeah you might sprain your ankle or something like that but uh, um, kind of brings me to my, my second new feature for 2018. Let's take a look at this door a little closer. Okay, well this door has changed a little. First of all we added a window to it and the window does open. I'm sorry it had a window. The window did not open. Now in the event of an emergency it wouldn't be that difficult to jump down there, um, but uh, if we don't want to do that, we just pull this. A little Velcro right here. I guess I could just take the ladder down instead of falling out on my head or spraining an ankle. This is the type of innovation that Newmar does. This will be copied. This, you know, other companies will have this in a couple of years, I'm sure. Um, but understand, this is the company that thinks about your safety first and um, comes up with plan. So uh, I love this. I liked the egress door a year ago, uh, but it was a long jump. Still better than going out on your head. But now you can safely climb right down a ladder. Got a nice handle here. New feature for 2018. Okay, don't forget with the Numar as well, this is actually still a steerable tag axle on there. Um, when you turn the wheel, you're going below 20 miles an hour, you're going forwards, you crank the wheel on this, instead of taking your tag axle, like all the other coaches do, and scooting those tires, and scrubbing those tires sideways across the pavement, um, which tears up pavement, which isn't good on tires, uh, 
the, the, the tag axle actually turns like a grocery cart wheel to follow the coach around. Now that does two things. Number one, it takes away that scrubbing of the tires across the parking lot. But the other thing it, it does is it actually tightens up your turning radius on a tag axle coach. This coach will turn around in a much tighter circle than uh, what you would ever anticipate and much tighter than other tag axle coaches without a steerable tag. So you'll like that. Around to the back, this coach is a 400 horsepower Cummins engine, so it's big boy diesel. 15,000 pounds of towing as well. Um, again, these are all mirrored louvers. Once this coach is purchased, we'll peel all those off and it'll shine and look good. This does have a rear radiator on this coach. Nice uh, rear cap with a molded in uh, backup camera, and we did option in the fiberglass roof on this coach as well. Fully walkable roof, obviously, that type of thing. Um, 400 horsepower, but 1,250 foot-pounds of torque. That's the big difference. You know, people people notice sometimes that, well, heck, the gas coaches are over 300 horsepower, so, um, you know, 400 horsepower is not that much more. Well, that's true, but the gas coaches are about 420 foot-pounds of torque. This is 1,250 foot-pounds of torque, so three times more. Um, Torque is what climbs mountains. Torque is what pulls your car up the mountain, or if you've got a race trail or something along those lines, that's where you will really see the difference. So, okay, let's take a look in the compartments here. Another new feature for 2018 to talk about. If we looked at a um, uh, 2017 model um, in this compartment, you would see two of these big canisters. These are, again, this is your after treatment. Um, in 2007, they came out with some new emissions that went after the particulate, um, that, that, all that black soot stuff. Um, and then in 2010, they came out with um, a canister that went on top of that, that uh, uh, went after the, the NOx gases, okay? This combines them together, it's all in one. Well, when you can combine them all into one, it gives us a little more space in these compartments. This is a, a, a little broader here. These are, um, your, your chassis batteries. This is your chassis disconnect. If you put your coach into storage, you can shut this off and uh, not worry about it. So that is a new feature for 2018. The, the uh, after treatment is all in one canister. All right. Most coaches, they don't even have a door here. This door opens. This is access behind this panel to our water tanks, fresh gray and black. Um, but also, Newmar gave you the extra storage. You can put pegs in here and obviously have a place to hang some tools. We always talk about the Newmar slide rooms. They actually recess back into the sidewall, okay? It's not just a piece of plastic hiding uh, the fact that their slide rooms don't quite fit right. <laughs> um, these actually do fit right and they're recessed back in. That's less chance for wind noise. That's less chance for, uh, obviously, a leak. Here's a half tray, so we have a, we showed you on the other side, we had the pass-through tray. This is actually a half tray. Uh, this is optional, uh, but we, we optioned it in on this coach. Come forward into this compartment. This is your big pass-through. We didn't want to put a tray in here because you know, trays are great um, in one sense, but you also lose a little bit of height um, for storage, so taller items would go in this compartment. We did option in the Sony TV. It built into the exterior sidewall. It's nice to get it up here where you're not losing down uh, lower storage compartments in order to do a TV. Okay, this is on a big magnetic swing arm, so you can kind of do it at whatever angle. And new for 2018, we have a Bose soundbar. We're going to talk more about Bose when we get on the inside. Here's that pass through tray. And then up here, we have another tall storage compartment. No tray in here. Um, this is uh, just a nice, big storage compartment. Fuel fill from either side, like we talked about. And the last new feature I want to talk about on the outside is right here. Well, what in the world is that thing? Well, what this is, it's a new optional holder for a flagpole. You go into the campground, you see everybody's got their uh, flags up, hopefully the American flag up. And uh, um, there's a, there's, you can now get a little flag holder that goes in there, um, holds your flag nice and neat, built into the side of the coach. So you're not screwing something into the side of your coach later. Um, I think we all agree we'd rather have Newmar do it, make sure the bracing's back in there for it, um, than, than have to do something like that later. All right, I know you're getting tired of waiting. What we really want to see is the inside of the coach. Let's go take a look.
Okay, one thing we like to do, I know uh, we kind of, uh, Tony and I were just talking about it, we kind of did this almost by accident once and then people jumped online and said, keep doing this. So uh, we like to show them before we open them all up, we'll show you the coach with the slides in so you can see your walkway. This is the proper way in my mind um, to travel with a 4369 floor plan when you have the two chairs options. You simply turn the chairs sideways because if they're facing this way, they actually, they encroach out quite a bit here. Now I've got plenty of room to walk right up and down this aisle. If I want to get to my refrigerator, I can certainly get in here. And obviously the other place we want to get, the bathroom, I can certainly get through here. So this is the 4369 with the chairs optioned in, with the slides closed, this is how you would go down the road. So um, very functional, you know, it's, it's always funny because we all want more and more slide outs. We want them as big as possible once we get there. The negative side to that is when you start squeezing from both sides, it, it does tighten things up a little bit. Some floor plans are affected more than others. This is actually pretty nice, okay? Let's get this opened up and show you. Hi folks, Chris Anderson, Mount Comfort RV. We are inside of a 2018 Ventana 4369. All right, you can kind of get a new uh, get a look around at all the new uh, features in here. We're certainly a little more ornate on our woodwork. This is the cherry um, uh, that we've optioned in, which is a, which is about a twenty-three hundred dollar uh, upgrade for the cherry. Um, they've taken and put some lighting uh, back in here. Uh, it lit last year, but it was a little plainer. Certainly, it's a little more or ornate this year. Uh, good look. Um, I think it's a little more subtle lighting too, which is nice. Um, but they changed one of the biggest things that Nivar always asks dealers, hey, you know, what can we improve upon, that type of thing. And one of them I'd been kind of hitting on repeatedly, um, and I knew why they weren't changing it, but they had to figure out something a little better, and they finally did, was this cabinet right up here. This cabinet has been a head knocker for years with Numar. Um, and it, it's funny because I was just in the habit, I would always, when a customer was getting ready to drive or sit in the driver's seat, I would always stand here and I'd put my hand on this corner so that, because that corner actually stuck out to about here. Um, and, and I would, tell them, don't hit your head, don't hit your head, don't hit your head. Um, and uh, um, those of you who might have a 2016, 17 Numar, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but the reason that, that this was a difficult change for them to make was what was in this cabinet. This has always been that uh, the Sony home theater system, which they don't use some little dinky no-name brand radio um, that you've never heard of. They actually used a Sony 5.1 home theater system, and that was a big unit, so it took a big cabinet to put it in. So it was a tricky thing. Um, well, this year, all right, follow me on this one. We're going over here. We're going over here. We're going over here. Look right here. Okay. We went to Bose. Um, it's a Bose sound bar. So once again, um, they're staying with the name brand number one. Um, Bose is, is absolutely a phenomenal system. This sounds good. We had it on earlier. Um, it sounds absolutely wonderful. And it allowed them to take this cabinet and just shrink it back a little bit, which obviously makes it not the head knocker when you're getting in and out of the driver's seat. So that's new feature for 2018. And right away when I opened this cabinet, I saw another new feature for 2018. Look at this guy. Okay, it lights up, it's Numar, what does this thing do? Well, let's touch that screen. It takes us right over to um, our, our uh, gauges. So instead of fresh gray black being like one third full, two thirds full, something along those lines, it's actually um, digital percentage wise, you can see exactly where you're at on your holding tanks, um, also on your chassis and your house batteries. It's telling us where we're at there. This is touch screen. We can turn on our tank uh, heat, top off our, our tanks, that type of thing, turn on your water pump. All of that can be done right here. So neat features, um, and, and th this is new from Numar. They've also put this stuff here that used to be over here in this cabinet, okay? This is a little easier to get to. You're not standing in the doorway um, when, when you want to turn on your satellite or when you, you want to open your awning or um, you're, either you're over the door awning over, or your main awning. Um, when you want to get to your inverter control, it's all in here and it's like I said, you're not in the doorway to do it. 
This is your control for your Oasis system. That's the uh, the heating and water heating system that this coach uses that we showed you on the outside. Uh, this is your actual inverter control and auto generator start. You can set the generator to come on if your coach batteries drop to a certain level um, or if your coach reaches a certain temperature and it needs to come on, uh, the generator needs to start so that your air conditioners will run. Um, you can set all that up in this panel right here. Um, security lights and they move the exterior step switch into here as well. So um, I think they put one by the door if I'm not mistaken also which is also a good thing so um, big things here uh, nice changes I love this change um, for the new market like I said they took away the head knocker now before the camera goes too far away we'll bring him back in we got another new feature right up front for Ventana this year those are suspended gas and brake pedal um, as opposed to the truck style pedals that they've had in the past and that you'll see on less expensive diesels. Um, those are a little hard. Uh, in fact, I've, I've actually lost sales before because those were hard to reach if somebody was really short. Um, you, you have somebody that's like five feet tall. Those uh, truck style pedals were really hard to reach. Um, these are nice. They're in, in a much more um, automotive feel to them and they're in a much more automotive friendly place. So um, I think you'll like those. Um, everything else up here I think is pretty much the same. They, they did redesign the dash a little bit um, as far as colors and trim goes, but nothing crazy. Um, we still have our phone charger here. If your phone is capable of doing wireless charging, you can just drop it right there. Um, we've got extra USB ports on the dash um, for, for charging goodies. So nice features there. All right. Um, this brown is, is not the normal brown that comes with the um, muslin interior. Uh, we special ordered this in. We like this brown. I believe it's out of a Dutch star, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we thought it looked really good. Uh, nice contrast with the, with the lighter interior here. All right. If we look over here, we're going to see some changes, particularly right there. There's your DVD player that was normally located up in that overhead head knocker cabinet. It's now moved down here, which is centrally located to the television, which of course is on a televator. Um, there's also extra room in here for satellite boxes, uh, which is nice. And this is new for 2018. You got these little, they're like little conduits, um, a little chase, if you will, to uh, run cabling through. They're easy to fish wires through there. And of course that keeps you from having the giant bird's nest that I have behind my television. Now, another new feature I noticed in here, I went to put the TV up and the button's always here. Hmm. Had to think about where Newmar might put that. Yeah, how about right here? Makes much more sense to have it back here than over there. So there's our Televator TV. Kind of one of those things that, you know, you love the Televator, but no, nobody had thought of putting the switch in a better spot. So uh, um, somebody finally came up with a good idea there. Uh, so many of these features, when you see changes like that, I don't know that that's the case in, um, in this instance, but so many of these features come from uh, the fact that Numar will do special orders. Um, and it may have very well been a customer that special ordered a Ventana or a Dutch Star or something last year that said, hey, you know, you can put the switch over here for me. That's a change Numar would have made. And then after they made it, they, okay, that makes a lot of sense. So sometimes being the company that, that will do some special orders and stuff for people pays off because... You know, two heads are better than one, so if somebody else comes up with a great idea, Numar may very well incorporate it um, down the road. All right, another new 2018 feature. Uh, everybody loves the pull-out kitchen. Okay, so we have a little release right here. It had one negative feature to it, um, and, and I think a lot of people saw it, is when you open it up, you had these big metal rails that it rode on on the side. They're gone. They're not on that side, they're not on this side, they're magically gone. I think Numar put them up underneath, but I, I honestly don't know where they're at, but uh, it works very, very smoothly, um, and it uh, certainly looks so much better. So, uh, nice nice feature there. While we got the camera panning down a little bit, let's look at our new tile. We've got little bits of metal in there uh, that look nice, and little individual tiles. Those look great. That's new for this year. Gorgeous, gorgeous floor. Um, another new feature I can't really show you right now, but I can tell you about it for 2018. You'll like this one, and this is one of those things that's like, man, why doesn't everybody do that? When you take your coach and you're getting ready to go somewhere, and you 
drop it in drive and you release that brake, that air brake on here, your baggage doors lock all the way around. So it's one of those little things that it's like, man, that makes all the sense in the world. Wonderful safety feature. Uh, so can't, can't say enough good things about that. All right. Look at our backsplash. That's new for 2018. Beautiful sofa. Um, like I said, we optioned in these colors out of a Dutch star. Um, this does make into a bed. This coach will comfortably sleep four people. Let's take a look at how this bed works. Simply lift here, and this is going to pull straight out like this. As I pulled out, these legs came down automatically. That's not difficult to do. Okay. And then you take the backrest here and it folds down. That's how easy the sofa is to make. Now, this is better than a height of bed for two reasons. Number one, it's more comfortable. It's got a much better support system underneath it than that metal bar that breaks you in half. Um, number two, it doesn't come out as far this way. So even with the bed open, I can walk through here and still have my aisle and get in and out of the coach. This is a self-inflating air mattress that's so built in. So, um, nice set up here with the sofa when you're done this simply stands back up okay put the sofa away like this the only key here is to make sure when this folds a little that you get it all the way down in there this way before putting it down that way sometimes i'll come in and the, it'll it'll kind of be uh, the seat deck will be kind of running downhill a little bit that's because they didn't push it all the way down in there it's not difficult it doesn't take a lot of muscle to do but but it is something that uh, there's a little bit of a technique to it all right, we optioned this in with the two chairs. We saw these when I was doing the uh, televator switch. Um, this is my favorite way to do it because most of the time the people that buy this coach, it's just two people, usually a husband and a wife, and, and they want to go see the world. But at night they might want to sit down and have an icy cold beverage and um, watch TV, watch a movie. This is a perfect setup for it, especially with your nice Bose sound bar and the televator. Nice setup here. We optioned this in with the freestanding di dinette, uh, actually the buffet dinette. Um, this table does pull out. And there are two folding chairs for this as well. Um, we have storage down on both sides of this. They call this the computer buffet. You can actually snake cords down through there and put a printer down, down there as well. So um, for those of you looking to stay connected, you can do that. New for 2018 and a lot of the new Mar products is the new clock. Good looking clock. We talked about this as a residential setup. Uh, so our kitchen appliances are very residential as well, all electric. Um, this, this has the water on the door. Uh, nice Whirlpool refrigerator. And then we'll talk about, I didn't show you the cooktop. Of course it's a recessed cooktop. And this will be a recessed induction cooktop. Okay. And you can actually pull that out of there if you want to and take it outside and plug it in. So that's a sharp feature. For our sinks this year, okay. looky here, stainless steel double bowl sink. Right. Now I know I get in trouble with these videos if I don't show especially kitchen storage. So. Let's get these open. Put my counter down. All right. Lots of drawers. Lots of cabinets. And then under the sink here, this flips down. Nice little place to keep the SOS pad. We have a trash can this year. And even little spaces that would otherwise go unused. Tomorrow I'll find a way to put a little drawer in there. Keep your favorite flashlight there. Your big cutting knives. Whatever you want. Alright, well what sells a 4369 floor plan? Um, I think the the televator option up front is obviously one of them. Another one is the pantry. Huge, huge pantry. These are pull out, these are adjustable in height, so you can adjust for cereal boxes or soup cans, either one. 
Of course, this is a bath and a half floor plan. So our half bath is here. Here's our bath we use going down the road. Nice vessel sink in there. Okay. We are equipped with a central vac system in this coach as well. I love this setup because you can either hook up attachments here, and it does come with the attachments, or my favorite feature is if you're kind of sweeping this floor, you don't even have to bend over. This is like a power dustpan. You simply click this on with your foot, sweep it right in, click it off. I didn't even have to bend over. That's my kind of laziness. I like that. Back into the bedroom, the other thing that sells a 4369 is, is actual storage. We have two nice wardrobes here. Okay, on either side. That's pretty good storage, and that would be comparable to what uh, a lot of diesel pushers have. But then also, put it back here real quick, we have that entire closet, and we'll get there. In addition to these two wardrobes, you have the entire back end as a uh, nice wardrobe closet as well. So, lots of clothes storage. Now, king bed with a sleep number. And of course, this coach has three roof air conditioners with heat pumps on it. Uh, the heat pumps are nice because if it's above 40 degrees, you don't have to run your, uh, other, your other heating system. You can actually uh, heat off the electricity, which when you're in the campground, if you can use the campground electricity as opposed to um, your fuel, all the better. Um, the final change I can think of for 2018, um, and I'm sure I've missed some, but I think we hit the highlights. The 4369 always sold because it had a huge shower. It was like 40 by 32 inches. It's now 50 by 34 inches. It's even bigger. Um, that is the biggest shower I have ever seen in a motorhome. Ridiculously large. I love it. And because they made this bathroom area a little bigger, they were able to put the washer dryer here, as opposed to putting it in your back closet. That is a new washer. Another 2018 feature, sorry, new washer, new washing machine. That's a different model this year. See Whirlpool for details. Jack and Jill sinks, vanities on either side, and the entire closet is available to you because it doesn't have a washer dryer in it because they moved it elsewhere, which is just a great plan. We even have a safe down in there. All right, well, I apologize for the length of this video. We usually try to keep them a little shorter, but honestly, with, when the new models come out, I'm going to take my time. I want to show you everything. Don't forget to ask for me. My name is Chris Anderson. I'm with Mount Comfort RV. Call me with any questions. I look forward to speaking with you. Thanks for watching.